Now let's do more of the balancing equation. So sometimes we can use fraction to balance a chemical equation if necessary. And remember, you balance any molecule or element that stand alone last. It should be your last option. So how many atoms do I have here together? I have three hydrogen, one nitrogen. So this is four atoms. I have two atoms here. I have two atoms here and I have three atoms here. So I'm starting my balancing from here. The one with the highest atom. So now, start your balancing from here, the highest atom. How many nitrogen do you have here? One. How many nitrogen do you have here? One is balanced. Now, I have hydrogen and oxygen left. But I, I will balance hydrogen before nitrogen, before oxygen. So in this case, how many hydrogen do you have here? Three. How many hydrogen do you have here? Two. So, but the hydrogen must be three. So how many oxygen do you have here? One, two. How many oxygen here? Two. Oxygen is balanced. So to balance hydrogen, I can use fraction. Remember, I have three hydrogen here, but I have two here. So I have to put fraction here, so we can balance with fraction. Then I'll put 3 over 2 here. So if I put 3 over 2 there, you know, 3 over 2 times 2, because this 3 over 2 will multiply this 2. You will see that it's 2, eh, it's 3. So that means 3 over 2 there, it means that hydrogen is 3, like that. So, and hydrogen is also 3, yeah. So, but immediately hydrogen is 3, yeah. So, let's remove that fraction, as in this fraction you use here. So, multiply everything by 2, as in each. Multiply it by 2. Because that 3 over 2 you added to the back, if you multiply everything by 2, it will cancel out and becomes 3. So, I will have... 3 and H, you know, I'm multiplying by 2. So that will be 2 and H3 plus 2 O2 two to give 2 and O plus 3 H2 O. So now I've balanced hydrogen. If you check up to hydrogen now, you will see it's balanced. So look at this again. How many nitrogen here? Two. How many nitrogen here? Two. How many hydrogen here? Two times three, six. How many hydrogen here? Three times two, six. You will see it's balanced now, up to hydrogen. So you can always balance with fraction. Because if you add a fraction to a subscript of two, so it will still give you 3 over 2 times 2. So be using this technique, you can balance with fraction. is allowed. So now it remains oxygen. So how many oxygen do you have here? I have 2 oxygen here. So how many oxygen do you have here? 2 plus 3, making 5. So I have 5 oxygen there. And how many oxygen do you have here? 4. So how can I make it 5? So I have to use fraction again here. Yeah. So because I have 2 oxygen here and 3 here, yeah, making 5. And I have 2 here before, but I need 5 oxygen. So I'll just use fraction again. So that means if I put 5 over 2 there, 5 over 2 times 2, that means it will give me 5. So oxygen is also balanced. So you can use fraction to balance. So now, that means everything is balanced now. So if I now want to remove this 2, yeah, I have to multiply everything by 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So everything will be 4 NH3 plus 5 O2 
remember that this tool will cancel out that two to give 4 no plus 6 h 2 so now everything is balanced now you see i use fraction to balance hydrogen because it's odd number i use fraction to balance this too so you can also use fr fraction to balance is allowed so now count everything how many nitrogen do you have here four how many nitrogen do you have here four so nitrogen is balanced how many hydrogen do you have here four times three that is twelve how many hydrogen do you have here six times two that is twelve how many oxygen do you have here? 5 times 2, that is 10. How many oxygen do you have here? I have 4 here and I have 6 here. 10. So everything is balanced. So that is the balance equation. You can use fraction. So let's say another one. So let's say I have um, NH3. plus O2 to give H2O plus N2. So now which side has the highest atom? So I have three hydrogen, one nitrogen, four atoms there, two atoms here, three atoms here, two atoms here. So I'm starting my balancing from here. So how many nitrogen do you have here? One. How many nitrogen do you have here? Two. So I have to put two here so that nitrogen will balance. So it remains hydrogen and oxygen. And I will balance hydrogen before oxygen. How many hydrogen here? Two times three. That is six. How many hydrogen here? Two. So to make it six, I have to put three here. That means hydrogen is also balanced. It now remains oxygen. So how many oxygen do you have here? Three. Because this three will multiply this. Three. How many oxygen do you have here? Two. How can I make it three? I'll just add three over two. Because three over two times two will give me three. Because times this two will give me three. And remember that if I have four or two, this is four times two. Definitely, if you have three over two or two, this is three over two times two. And that two will cancel out. That is three. So that is the techniques we are using. So now, you need to remove this fraction now. So you are multiplying everything by 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So everything will become 4NH3 plus 3O2 to give 6H2O plus 2 and two so you can count now how many nitrogen do you have here four how many nitrogen do you have here two times two four how many hydrogen do you have here four times three twelve how many hydrogen do you have here six times two twelve how many oxygen here three times two six how many oxygen here six times one six so everything is balanced you will notice this kind of equation can give students problem but with the help of fraction yeah we balance easily